Well, it's not every day you get up close and personal with a hummingbird, no. but it happened and it was caught on camera. Yeah, uh, her friend who actually does wildlife photography as a hobby and is pretty dang good at it, as you can see, was able to capture several photos of the encounter and it's since gone viral on Facebook. So joining us now on the phone to chat about the encounter is the woman in this photo, Lori Brasina. Lori, thanks for being with us. Hey, Lori. Oh, thank you for asking me. <laughs> How are you doing? I mean, did <laughs> did this hummingbird get up there? Did it really get up your nose? You know, it was just enough to tickle. It didn't it wasn't really up there, but it was you know, it was a little disconcerting. I had my eyes closed cuz I'd had eye surgery the week before and that was my thought was my eyes, not oh, my wow. nose. <laughs> Lori, I I, uh, I don't want to get really personal here, but what was the hummingbird <laughs> going after in your nose? I'm I'm just curious. <laughs> I, I'm I'm just gonna say that I think maybe it was shaped like a flower. <laughs> <laughs> You're just so Love sweet. It. Love yeah, it. they like the nectar. Um, yeah. Are you a huge fan of hummingbirds? I mean, they're so oh, I am. peaceful and pleasant they're creatures. Cool. They're, they're really so awesome. Cool. So to get this close to one, I mean, it's like meant to be. It was, Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. It, it was amazing. And I, yeah, I love hummingbirds. I also do wildlife photography and I love taking pictures of hummingbirds, but I've never had this happen before. Lori, you've, so, you've got a memento from this encounter. Yeah. I mean, the pictures are stunning. You, you're going to have to do something with this. I mean, you've got to put it up in the house, blow it up, you know, the whole yes. thing. Yes. Well, you know, I, I have to talk to Vicki because they're not my pictures, but um, yeah, Vicky, Vicky Feist does take amazing pictures. We're good friends and we go out together a lot. And uh, yeah, I'm going to talk to her about getting getting a print made. That's <laughs> Absolutely. cool. Absolutely, yeah, it goes in the frame for sure. Yes, but it was, I could feel the, the wings, the wow. little breeze from the wings <laughs> on my face. And, yeah. You and know, I was I'm trying not to laugh. I'm <laughs> looking at the beak too, and the beak is a lot longer than I realized. I mean, this was going getting into the probe area in your nose. It, it could have, but you know, it never hurt. It didn't poke me. It just it tickled. It did tickle, <laughs> but that was it. So I'm glad I didn't sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. The poor hummingbird. <laughs> Um, I was afraid to laugh because I was afraid either I would scare it away and I didn't want to do that or it would get in my mouth and I didn't want that either. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hummingbirds, I think they're supposed, they're like a symbol of peace and the comfort, I think. So mm -hmm. maybe since you just had surgery, you said, maybe this was like he was trying to, wow. or she trying to I bring you that. some comfort. I love that. Well, you know, we can think of a lot of things. I don't know. You know, they're not... Hummingbirds are, are are beautiful, but they're really not friendly to each other. I mean, they can be downright mean. And this one was not attacking me. It was just, it was a, a lovely encounter. That's great. Aww. Lori Brusina, thank you for your story and yeah. uh, great pictures. Thank your friend. Great work. Thank you.